Hey guys, so today I want to check out the new iOS 7 beta 3 update over here. So this is an update that brings a ton of actually small UI tweaks. So one of them is that when you uh, go down uh, like this, you can see that when I put on the lock screen, uh, everything here at the top becomes a little bit bigger in terms of its font size, like the battery, a locked sim, and the, that little icon there. So you can see that when I go like this, it becomes a little bit smaller. So that, that seems to be one of the updates over here. Uh, and then we also do have a ton of other th things, uh, like we do have uh, we do have folders now. It's a little bit more transparent. Uh, as you can see up here at the top, probably you can see it's probably is a little bit more transparent when we are in that little box over there. You can see the background. Uh, we also have a ton of other things uh, in terms of the UI, uh, and some of those are uh, we we have in in the notification center uh, when we go down like this. We can see it is some font tweaks here as well. So you can see there that it's a little bit changed. Uh, you can also see it has like a darker tone to it uh, when we are inside of here. So of course my iPhone as well. And then also uh, now the calendar uh, is gonna show you, uh, let's see here if we fire up the calendar it's going to show you dates when you have event like day ten there over there. Uh, also, the weather application, uh, the font is a little bit changed here as well. I'm I'm pretty sure. Uh, so was this? Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, that seems to be a little bit of a glitch. Uh, if we continue on, uh, also we have even more tweaks uh, in the uh, uh, the tweaked icons here in the control center, a little bit down here. Uh, they are a little bit uh, tweaked, and then also uh, we do have now when we are playing music. So let's just bring up my music app here, Spotify. And let's see here if we can see um, how it looks now on the lock screen. So now when you're on the lock screen and when you're playing music, you will see the time up there. Uh, you didn't see that before, so uh, a little bit changed over there. Uh, also, the calculator is a calculator is a little bit changed uh, if we bring it up over here. So you can now see that the UI is a little bit changed. It's a little bit bigger. And then also we have some other, uh, the wallpaper, when we go into the settings here, uh, go down to brightness and wallpaper, we can see it's a little bit changed here, how it looks like over here. Uh, also, um, we do have a new app loading UI. So when we download an app, uh, let's just download Tiny Wings. Download Tiny Wings from the App Store. You can see how. Oh my god. I still hate it that you always have to put in like your password. So you can see now when it's downloading an app how it looks like. Very cool update. There we go. And then also Siri should now be better and have some new voices. What are you doing? Just thinking. About what? Here's what I found on the web. Well, wow, that's so nice. I don't really care. So you can also tap to edit Here's that. That could also be a new thing. Series seems to be a little bit snappier as well. So if we go in here uh, to let's see, if we go into general and Siri, 
you can see that when we pick language here, you do have a few more, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and also just confirm uh, what I'm running over here. And uh, you can see inside of here, I was 7, 11, a blah, 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 blah on my iPhone 5. Uh, so uh, also, of course, there are a ton of other updates uh, as well. Uh, some are in the AirDrop app. There's a lot of bug fixes and stuff. Uh, the AirDrop app, the AirPlay app, uh, especially in the AirPlay app, if you send to like your Apple TV, uh, sometimes uh, when you click on next song, uh, that didn't work. Now it should work better. And also volume up and down should uh, be improved over there that it doesn't uh, unexpectedly randomly go extremely high. You have calendar updates, iCloud updates, uh, the keychain, uh, if, you're com if you did use the keychain uh, inside of um, uh, earlier versions of uh, uh, iOS 7 beta 2, then you have to uh, redo that. Uh, let's see here if we go down. So you can see here keychain, keychain, um, you have to, it's not like backwards compatible. Uh, and then also find my iPhone, if you wanna find your iPhone in iCloud, it has an activation lock, so if you wanna disable this, uh, you need to input your password, if it's like activation lock, link this iPhone to your Apple ID to prevent another person from activating it. Uh, so uh, that is very nice, so when you give, when you sell this device, you need to like turn off the activation lock, I am pretty sure, or else it won't be that much fun. Also messages has been updated, network should also be improved, and I'm probably going to take a closer look at that uh, in another video, definitely. Uh, also, passbook should be a little bit updated as well, and then, as I said, also already, uh, Siri voices should be better. Uh, it could also be a little bit of a new UI here, or that it's a little bit, it looks different when you go down like this, up here at the top. Not quite sure, but I think that could be a small little update that they have done over there. Uh, there's also a ton of other things I can probably go over, some tiny small fixes, but uh, I think I did cover a lot of the UI updates. Uh, but there's a ton of small UI updates uh, across the, the whole kind of system. Uh, and something that I haven't really been going over in other videos is that the clock you can actually see that it's moving around like live. So you can see that little time, it's moving around live. So it's, it's a little bit more dynamic uh, than iOS 6, uh, but uh, it's probably gonna be even more dynamic here in the future. Uh, so yeah, quickly a video here going over that. If you wanna see any specific things, uh, please let me know about that, like benchmark scores, uh, compare the speeds, and do all those kinds of good stuffs. Please let me know and I will see what I can do. Yeah.